Hey guys, what the hell's up, man? <clears throat> Just chilling out in my garage, trying to get this shit done. And, uh, yeah, having a lot of fun. <clears throat> Got my first coat of Bondo on and sanded. <clears throat> Got some low spots right here. I didn't put my Bondo on very thick on my first coat. I got some low spots here as you can see. Got a couple of high spots as you can see. You're gonna have this guys, you can't get around it. You're gonna have this. So I tap them all down with my body hammer. When I tap down a high spot, what I like to do, if I have a little spot like this right here, I like to tap around the outside of it you know, harder than that, but I like to tap around the outside of it and then I give it one or two good taps in the middle because you just want to knock it just below the surface. You're not trying to make a big concave. You're just trying to tap it in ever so slightly. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my second coat on here. Um, right here where these doors meet, as you can see, I sandwiched in a piece of tape there. See, I just, I stuck it to this edge of the door, and then I rolled it back, and then I shut this door on it, and that protects the inside of this door gap here, because in order to get these two doors looking nice and level and perfect, when I put my Bondo on, I'm going to go right over that gap, and I'm going to Bondo the doors together. <clears throat> then I'm going to use my razor blade when it's semi-dry and cut this gap out and then my jam will be clean, I'll have my gap and both doors will have the same amount of bondo on it so when I block it <clears throat> I'm actually going to block it right the two doors together so they're perfectly dead even because you want these to be nice and lined up <clears throat> But that's what I got going there. I got to apply my second coat of Bondo. <clears throat> First coat's just roughed out in 80 grit right now. Looks pretty good. I'll probably do one more coat of Bondo on this one. I don't think it's going to take much. I got a lot of low spots there, but that's because I didn't put enough Bondo on in my first coat. So I'm going to put it on and fill it all up with my second coat. That should be good. <clears throat> yep, box is working great. Can't complain about that one. It's kind of nice, and I set it on top of my other stool so I can wheel it around too. It's actually pretty convenient there. <clears throat> yep. Uh, did some shopping today. Yes, sir. I like to use these white balls, huh? They work really good and whatnot. They're uh, they're a little salty though. They're twelve dollars and change for a box of a hundred. <clears throat> and uh, I was trying to get ask the guy at the paint store if he had anything else that was you know similar, the same but cheaper. And the one guy said no. I went in there the next day and asked a different guy, one that I know a little bit better, and he showed me these. These are Torque Shop Max. Uh, they're pretty much the same fucking thing as white balls. They come out from the middle and they're perforated together. So you have to rip them apart. You know what I mean? So that's a little different. But if you compare them here. Okay. Here's a torque. And here's the shop uh, white ball. Here's the white ball and here's the torque. They're the same width. They're the same texture. They're the same nice towel like feeling uh, disposable towel very uh, absorbent and whatnot, but they're a whole three inches shorter now this is fifteen dollars for the box but there's two hundred in here there's two hundred uh, in here for fifteen dollars versus a hundred of the white balls for uh, twelve and change so I'm gonna start using these I guess when I have to buy them but uh See, you know, I buy a brand new box of these yesterday, right? And you know what the fuck happened today? I like to go shopping at this surplus store 
that's got a bunch of cheap shit all the time. Look what they fucking had, man. White balls, right? These ones are the ones that are $12 and change a box. Look at this. Five sixty nine. I love this fucking surplus store, <clears throat> but uh, they don't always have these. They only get them in once in a while, so I don't know. I had a hunch today that they had them, so I went down to go check, and they had them, and I got five boxes. They must have had like fifteen boxes there. I didn't have enough fucking money, or I would have bought them all. You can't beat that. That's less than half the price of a fucking box. <clears throat> but now I got. 500, 6, 700, and a couple left in that box. So I got 700 white balls now. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm pretty fucking good for a while. But these come in handy. I mean, I don't really use Speedy Dry or anything. So when I'm pulling an engine out and I get an oil spill, I wipe all the shit out of it. I just lay them over top of it. But uh, yeah, white balls are fucking awesome. The other thing I found out that really pissed me off at the paint store, you know, when I go in, I just ask for stuff. I don't really ask for price. I see what the price is after I buy it. And this shit right here, this DX330 wax and grease remover, is fucking uh, 40, $47 and change for a gallon of fucking wax and grease remover. That made me sick when I saw that receipt. I tried to get, Shopline makes it, and it's called, uh, I forget the first two letters, but it's 101. It's J something 101. I asked the guy, and he says they don't fucking carry it. Now I gotta ask the other guy, and I bet you he'll pull it out of the fucking back. I don't know, I don't understand these salesmen. All they do is commission, I guess. But yeah, 47 fucking dollars just for fucking wax and grease remover. I, fuck, I'd rather use fucking rubbing alcohol. I do. I use rubbing alcohol a lot for wax and grease remover. It works damn good. And it's cheap as shit. 47 fucking dollars. What the fuck? Fucking reducers fucking half of that. Ridiculous. But anyway. I'm going to get my fucking second coat of Bondo on this fucking thing. And uh. Yeah. Pump on this heat so it will dry and warm up a little bit in here. It's about, it's almost 60 right now, which isn't too bad because it's pretty cold outside. Looking at 34 outside, so it's pretty nice in here, not bad. Can't complain, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get my second fucking coat on there. Yeah, but uh. Come on now, HodgePodge Garage. When the fuck are you going to make a goddamn video? I'm telling you, man. Make a bit video. It's easy as shit. Fucking turn on the camera. Videotape something. Who gives a fuck what it is? Even if you're just videotaping yourself saying, What's up, asshole? But, uh... Do something, man. Take the camera to work with you. Show us uh, changing your fucking rotating Honda tires for a living or something. Come on, man. Yeah, HodgePodge Garage there. Old high school asshole buddy of mine. Fucking had him watching a couple of my videos, and now he's hooked, and he keeps begging me to make more. But he hasn't made a single goddamn fucking video. What an ass. Goddamn guy. But, uh... Yeah. Anyway, I got uh, my second coat of Bondo on. And uh, it's looking pretty good there. See how I went right across the, the middle of the door jam there? My tape's in back there to keep it from going in. I got it filled up pretty good. This should be my last coat of Bondo, I'm hoping. I got all three spots recovered. See, on something like this, when there's a body line like that, you can't just go and throw a whole shitload, a shitload on, because you're trying to follow the original body line. If you throw a whole shitload on, and you stand in that body line, you're making your own without even being able to tell where the old one was. 
So on something like this on the body line, I usually do one, two, maybe three light coats of Bondo instead of piling it all on at once because I'm trying to keep that original line that was there. I mean, you know what I mean? And this isn't even sanded yet, and you can see how I'm trying to form that line with the Bondo first. That way sanding's easier. But that's how I like to work on the body line like that. couple light coats, you know. <coughs> but, yes sir, looking pretty damn good there. Not too bad. How tacky is this? Yeah, it's ready to cut. Let me get a fresh razor blade here. Oh yeah, I try not to cut myself. Let's see if I can do this here. Are you guys watching? Yeah, I'll just sit there on my knee and I'll cut this out. I just stick my razor blade in and go right down the side. Just stick it in far enough so your razor blade sitting against the edge. And just run it down along the edge of the uh the edge of the car door there. Same thing on the other side. Just cutting out that little sliver. There you go guys. See how none of the uh the bondo went around the corner? That's what I was trying to achieve there by putting that piece of tape in. See, my Bondo has a nice straight line here. Even with the door edge. But I have nothing on the back. No Bondo. And on this side... Same exact thing. Got a nice flat edge that I could still trim up a little bit. <coughs> you know what I mean? Let me trim this up a little. Wasn't sticking there. Huh. Show me the interior or something, huh? Anyway, see, I got a nice straight edge now. Cut it right down with the uh. Right down with the razor blade. You can do that to all your edges. You do it to the bottom edge. Works pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to wait for this to cure and then I'll block this baby down.